Okay, next I want to show you ripple editing in Reaper. Now ripple editing just defines how we edit in Reaper. And there's three different modes. If we go to our menu, under options, we can see two of them right here. Ripple edit per track and ripple edit all tracks. We could choose either one of these or we could choose none. Those are the three different options. And we could also choose it in our toolbar right over here. Right now it's off, hit it once, it's ripple editing on one track, hit it again, and it's ripple editing on all tracks. So let's see how it works. Let's turn it off. We have some items here that are colored differently and they're named A, B, C, and D. So let's take B and copy it and let's paste it right over here. It pastes it right on top of D. Now in some situations, that's not what you want. If you're using Reaper for things like video, narration, or voiceover, or as a stereo editor, or for mastering, in those situations, we might want things to move when we paste them. So let's undo that. And let's turn on ripple editing for one track. Hit it once. Now let's copy this. And if we paste it right here, it moves D over to here. Now we have two copies of B. So this moves out of the way based on the size of B. And it works the same way for deleting. If we select it and delete it, it moves D over to fill in the space for what we just deleted. If we delete C, D moves over by the length of C. Undo it and put it back. And it works the same way for moving our items. So if we move C this way, item D moves with it. So everything to the right moves together. So if we grab B, B, C, and D all move together. Or if we grab A, they all move. So that's the way ripple editing works. Now let's say we're using Reaper as a stereo editor. So let's put these items right next to each other. And now let's pretend we're using Reaper as a stereo editor. And these are different sections of the song. Maybe this is a verse, this is a chorus. So right from here, using ripple editing, we can change our arrangement. Let's say we wanted to hear what the song sounds like with this part missing. If ripple editing is turned off, and we delete it, we have a whole space. Now we could select these two and drag them over, but that's an extra step. It's quicker just to use ripple editing. So turn it on, go to B, delete it, and C and D move over. So there's not gonna be any space in our audio file. So we can try different arrangements that easily. We could do the same thing for copying and pasting. Let's say we want to have an extra copy, so we can copy B, click right over here, and paste it. We get an extra copy of B, so we can hear a different song arrangement that quickly, because D moves over to make space for B. Again, it's great for stereo editing, or editing video, or narration and for mastering. And it also works if we split our items. So let's go to C and split right here and right here. Now we can take this one and delete it and that space gets removed. We can cut it instead and paste it right here and it gets placed right there. And again, it works for moving our items. So we can move this and D moves with it, we'll move this, and C and D move with it, we'll move them all by grabbing the first one. And we can place them exactly where we want. Like on bar two, 
So that's one track, Ripple Editing Mode. Now let's check out All Track, Ripple Editing Mode. And here, we have multiple tracks. And normally, when we grab our items, just those items move. But again, with Ripple Editing, in one track mode, if we move this, all the items on that track move together. Let's zoom out, see this? All the snare items from the one we grab and to the right are going to move together. That's because we're in single track ripple editing mode. And it's the same thing if we delete. If we delete this item, the other items move over to fill in that space. Or if we copy and paste it right here, the other items move over to make room for it. But again, it's only happening on one track. Let's do it with multiple tracks. We'll go over here and switch it to all track ripple editing mode. And now it's going to work on all the tracks. And notice we have regions in this project. So this mode is going to work with those regions for editing purposes. Check it out. Let's say we wanted to remove the chorus. We could select this, hit delete, and the whole chorus and all the items that were in the chorus are now gone. Undo it, and they're back. Let's do the same thing for verse one. We could just double click the region, it selects it, then we could select any item within that time selection, and we can cut it, and the verse is gone along with all the items and the region. Let's do the same thing with our chorus. Let's say we want to remove this chorus. Double click up here, choose any item in that time selection, delete it, and our chorus is gone. And the second intro moves over, along with all the items that are to the right, before and after. It's a great way of rearranging our song. Let's undo that, and it's also going to work for moving our items. So if we grab the snare track and move it around, everything to the right moves with it. But if you notice, there's a problem with it, because it only moves the items that start after the one we grab. So if I grab this one, which is the first one in the song, everything moves. So we can move our entire song to a different place. Let me put it at bar 7 or bar 9. But if we grab an item over here, just the items that start after the one we grab get moved. So if we grab this, just the snare and the kick track get moved. Because these are one big item. But we can fix that. When you want to do that, like move the verse and everything over, just split it. Go right here and select this. Hold Shift and select this track and this one. Split them. And now, zoom out. We can move this and all the tracks are going to be moved. We can move it over to here. Now we have an extra space right here. We'll pull them back. We'll bring them over to here. Do the same thing with our chorus. Just select from here, down, split them, and we can move these the same way. And our chorus and all the tracks get moved together. And again, it's a great way of moving our entire project. If we want to put this on bar three instead, just grab it and drop it here. And all our tracks move along with the regions and even the markers. It all gets moved in all track ripple editing mode. So anyway, that's ripple editing in Reaper. Let's move on. Mm -hmm.